is Banks. He is our fur baby. He is a three-year-old Maltese poodle. And he's chill right now, but it's deceitful. <laughs> You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Like and subscribe for more. Hi, I'm Anna Page. Welcome to my Park Avenue apartment. I'm a full-time influencer and content creator. I have lived in New York for two years and we just moved to the Upper East Side. My husband and I are originally from Atlanta and when we had been married for over five years, we were trying to figure out what was next for us and New York had always been a pipe dream. We didn't have kids so we figured it was the time to try to make the move so we hustled for about a year to try and make it happen and eventually did. This apartment was a gym that we found kind of toward in the middle of COVID and we instantly saw it and our lease wasn't up for two more months, which was very stressful and my mistake for looking at apartments when I couldn't move immediately. Um, and everything just lined up for it to be ours. I am gonna show you my favorite part of the apartment, which is our living room. Obviously it was the first room I walked into, but immediately fell in love with in this space. I love all of the natural light that pours in. I'm actually a huge fan of the parquet flooring. Um, and then the fireplace is one of my favorite features in here as well. What did this room look like when you moved here? <laughs> Nothing like what you see here. <laughs> it was pretty much just white walls, parquet flooring. Very simple. <laughs> The apartment is over 100 years old, so I wanted to really incorporate a lot of that charm and detail into the design of it and play off a lot of those features. When I was incorporating everything, I love the traditional sense of it all, but adding some modern touches is my favorite thing. We knew that the building had original wall molding, so I wanted to add that back into the apartment. We found a renter-friendly version of it that we were able to do, and it's basically made out of a polyurethane, so it's really, really lightweight. Um, and we just mapped it out and went to town one Saturday and it is crazy the amount of character and interest that it adds back into the space. So how do you go about doing a project like that? You, step one is convince your husband and say pretty please like a hundred times. Um, and then the second thing is honestly a lot of trial and error. I had to order a lot of different samples and a lot of patience and preparation. <laughs> I love this chandelier. Of course, I had the crazy idea the first time I walked in here to have a really dramatic statement piece. Your eye goes right to it when you walk in the door. Um, it's also one of my favorite pieces because it was hilarious to try to hang. My dad actually helped us. Um, and two months later, he actually passed away. So it's the brightest light in the apartment. It reminds me of him. Second favorite piece in the apartment is this gorgeous, gorgeous fireplace. It was definitely the first thing that drew me to the place. Um, it is original to the building, so it is well over 100 years old. And I'm 5'10", for reference, so she is massive, um, but the detailing in it is so insane, and it's something that you just can't get anymore. I've been told my style is kind of grand millennial. Um, it's, I love traditional pieces. I think they remind me of when I was young. They remind me of what my grandmother's house looked like, such classic pieces. But I also like to add a little bit of flair and personality with modern pieces, things that are a little bit more quirky. I totally get that there's a lot of hesitation to do anything to a place that you don't own. I think there are a couple of factors that you can go through. One, if it's inexpensive and not time consuming and it'll make you happy, then I say it's worth the investment to do that if you're gonna love where you live. The second thing is think about if it's something that you can take with you to the next place you live in. Whether you own next or rent next, if it's something that you can take with you, then it'll be a really special piece that you can take. So our coffee table has a lot going on. One of my favorite pieces is actually this Hermes tray. Um, so I'm an influencer and the first paid collaboration I had, the owner of that brand actually gifted me this tray uh, right when I moved to New York. It's one of my favorite pieces. Um, another cool piece is this magnifying glass that I found at an antique store down in the West Village. Unfortunately, my dog thinks that it's one of his toys, but we're working on it. <laughs> This is um, a closet that had a window in it and we could not sacrifice any natural light. So I stuffed my husband in here and when he's bad I close it. I'm just kidding, I don't do that. But we did put his desk in here. We figured it would be better sitting here um, and looking out a window than against a wall. 
and um, he loves it. We are gonna go into one of my favorite places, which is our kitchen, also this little dining nook. And what did this room look like before you got your hands on it? So it was white walls. There's another element I really wanted to add was just that it would feel cozy and dark and moody. The floors were actually gray, dark gray tile. And if I do say so myself, I think we transformed it. So this flooring is actually a peel and stick tile that I found off Etsy and it's insanely durable. Um, we, I actually laid them individually, <laughs> which took a lot of patience, but it was worth it. In a New York apartment, we only dreamt of ever having a table that we could actually eat at instead of our couch. So I saw this empty wall and our options were either storage or some kind of little dining table. So I wanted to kind of make it feel like you were in a really cute cafe or coffee shop. Oh, also. This um, antique frame that I found, I happened to just throw it over this outlet one day. So here we have a camouflaged framed outlet as well. <laughs> we have kind of a galley style kitchen. I wanted to add a little bit more counter space and also do a really cute coffee bar. So we found this standalone kitchen island. We've got baskets for storage underneath and then we made a whole little coffee bar set up right here. And this is where I come alive every morning. <laughs> we are in our main bedroom. One of my favorite things is actually this piece that is above our bed. I found at a flea market in Chelsea. I had no idea what I wanted to do above our bed. Um, and the guy was selling it for like $35, $40, I think. So I grabbed it and didn't ask any questions and just hauled it in an Uber home and <laughs> never looked back. This is where I work every day. This is my desk. Um, this vanity I actually found on Facebook Marketplace for $50, which is insane. Um, unfortunately, I was new to Facebook Marketplace at that point. Didn't think to ask how many, you know, what floor they lived on. And so we ended up carrying it back down, I think, six flights of stairs. Um, so we learned our lesson really quickly, but we got it home and it was well worth it because it's such a beautiful piece. I love it so much. This is another secret you're gonna have to keep between me and you, but we had to add these risers to just the right side of this dresser because when we initially put this in here, it was so slanted that we couldn't even put stuff on it without it sliding off because that's what you get in a hundred year old building. It just comes with the territory, I guess. I think that finding a place with so much character and charm you realize how important that is when you don't have it. And previously we never had it. So I just think that there is a cozy element that you can't really describe that you get right when you walk in. And that's something that always has been so important to me.